Hey consumers, welcome back to Amateur Consumption. I'm Isaac. And I'm Mary. This week on Value Wine, we're going to be taking a look at Dark Horse. So Dark Horse is a red blend. It comes from Modesto, California. Um, it's 13.5% alcohol and it hit right at our $10 mark for the Value Wine. We were able to pick it up at our local grocery store. Um, there isn't much other information on the bottle, so we'll see how it is. So we can start off by giving it a swirl and taking a look at the color. Red, opaque. You can see some lines forming. It's pretty dark in color. Yeah, it doesn't have that like purple tinge around the, around the rim. It's darker than that. Yeah. Give it a smell? Yeah. Mm, it smells pretty good for a $10 wine. I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Oh. I feel like it smells like a cheap $10. <laughs> I think, think it smells like a cheap red wine. Well. Uh, I smell jammy characteristics. Mm -hmm, for sure. I smell a hint of black pepper, but not too much. Give it a taste. Yeah. It's definitely jammy. I mean, it's not terrible. Mm -mm. I don't really want to ever buy it again, <laughs> but I don't think like it'd be hard to like finish the bottle off. No, I think this one is definitely a little bit on the sweeter side, which is the pattern we're seeing with these cheaper value wines, especially if they are New World, which this one is. I feel like there's a lot of acid in the back of your mouth. That's what, that's something I'm feeling. Yeah, there's definitely some acidity. I'm not getting a lot of tannin, though. Mm -mm. It's like my mouth isn't drying out when I'm drinking it, so. No. I mean, is it better than some wines we've had on the channel? Yes. Is it... Am I really excited about it? Not really. I mean, it's fine. Um, I don't know that it, we can recommend that you pick it up just based on the price point. I feel like there's better wine at that price point. Yeah, but I mean, if you're not sure, it's not a terrible wine. No, not at all. And I think to some extent, too, it might depend on what you have available to you. Because... I mean, the grocery store wines in general, I think this is on the nicer side of the grocery store wines in the $10 price range. I'd agree. I also think this would be a pretty crowd-pleasing wine. I think it would uh, accommodate a lot of different people's tastes. Mm -hmm. well, let's rate the wine. Um, I sit right around a five. I find it to be just about average for this price point, this demographic of wine. Um, nothing jumps out at me, but I can't really take it down a notch for anything either. Yeah, I would agree with a five. I think it's very average, um, nothing to write home about, but definitely a drinkable, probably good party wine. Um, so if you're looking for something to bring to someone's house and you don't know what they like, um, this might be a decent choice. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Amateur Consumption. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Drink more wine.